hey, this is going to be kind of the final section of the spring cleaning, uh, rummaging that I'm doing with my books. Um, we've seen the Marvel, DC, and Valiant, and what's in my file cabinet is going to represent the miscellaneous, the, uh, the smaller labels. When you're dealing with a file cabinet, you got to remember to empty out the top deck first. But yeah, we have Crusade books, Small Press, Dark Horse, Bongo, Dynamite, Malibu, um, cartoon books. We have all that stuff. Archie, IDW. Oh, there's my Solar 3. That doesn't belong in here. Um, Hall of Heroes, Slave Labor Graphics. So, yeah, an image. So we're just going to run through those. And sorry about the glare. I know the light table can kind of put off a strange aura. Just to give you an idea. So I first kind of have to separate these by just label. And then later on I can organize, you know, all the images. This is mostly Savage Dragon, the Max, and some Spawn down below. Yeah. That's the big overview. So, that's the challenge right there. And this helps to keep it kind of fun. And this is where they're dropping in, just to give you the full scope. Got one long box, two shorties, three more long boxes, and one last long box. The stage is set for the last act. All right. And I'll just figure out where they're going to get dropped as I go. I'll start in here. These are just like my dividers. When using a file cabinet, I, I don't like to let the books rest, rest against the inner wall, the inner well of the drawer. Sin City. Uh, the Babe War Red. Dark Horse Fox. Superman, Madman, Hula Baloo. I'm going to throw it in Dark Horse because I have a lot of stuff in the DC. Madman Comics. Alright. Now uh, we have Stupid, Stupid Rat Creatures. So, call that a cartoon books box. We got here Jay and Silent Bob, Ani Press. So, let's figure out where those are going to go. On the back, we have a Felix the Cat book. I'm actually drawing Felix the Cat. I'm going to keep this handy. So Ani, I could probably throw an Ani with cartoon books because I don't have a whole lot of either one of those. Madman Comics. It's more Dark Horse. Cyberfrog. Paris Comics. There. Don Vampirella. Uh, let's just make an overall Vampirella box. Garth Ennis, Joel McRae. That is a small label avatar. I'm gonna throw this right here. Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a nice Archie. There's a copy of my brother's uh, Sons of Anarchy book. small press right there. Neil Adams Skate Man. Small press. I have one book from that particular label. Jennifer Blood. Dynamite. I'm just going to throw those with a Vampirella. 
Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Some more dynamite. Beautiful Sarah Michelle Geller cover though, wouldn't you say? Code red. <coughs> this is from Marvin eighty eight. Unless I mismarked it. So that Zenus go back and go with small press. I don't like that. IDW? I need to use more boards. Considering what I have into them. TMNT? Signed. IDW. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Usagi Edge of World. Just gonna throw one of these in that extra board. Just because when, when you're filing, you don't want stuff to get damaged. And Basically when you're moving books and or when you're filing them, they're kind of vulnerable. You gotta keep them as nice as you can. Sometimes a double board is the least you can do. Huh. There's a bloodshot book. This belongs with the Valiants. So I just put my misplaced books down there. Another American Splendor. Definitely doesn't belong in there. Archie Turtles Adventures. Arch is in there. Bill and Ted. The small label Boom Comics. So, yeah. here we go. Mike Mayhew Vampirella. We know where those go. Vampirella Mayhew. Vampirella Mayhew. Nice little run of Vampirella Mayhews. Street Fighter book. Chum Me cover. Uh, Uden Comics Entertainment. Okay. Uden. I could go for some of that. Oh, yeah. This piece of artwork from Taddy is in there. I'll put that over here. I gotta get that framed. There's another Cyber Frog. It's already double boarded, so that's good. Early Ethan Van Skyver. A Hall of Heroes. It's Tug. Tug and Buster. Very small press. I met uh, Joe Benitez at an LCS and he signed these for us. Oh, pretty cool guy. My, uh, my LCS owner, he's good friends with Joe Benitez. And, uh, gets exclusive covers by Joe. And, you know, hangs out with them. It's cool. Got one of these. These are what my uh, bagging boards, my, my bags come in. And I use these for cons. So, I love that. These are tipping over, so I'm going to migrate some over. We'll look at them like that. I'll be a lot happier if the books aren't tipping over onto each other. Oh. Oh. Okay. Over here. Savage Dragon 1. Non barcode. So, start putting our images in there. I'm not going to call out the numbers on these dragons, <laughs> but uh, it's a fairly recent one. Gen 13, Gen X. Low 
for an era spawn. Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon. 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 I don't want to shortchange the dragons. I'll start calling out the numbers. We got 223. Here's spawn 278. Spawn 212. Spawn 214. Spawn 266. 270, 271, 273, 276, 272, 275, 215, 232, 235, 238, 237, 240, 241, 243, 244, 259, 247, there's that director's cut book one. There's a nice Savage Dragon Matrimony cover, uh, 209. All right, Spawn 244. These are great. These are the Eric Larson ones. I'll be keeping these. 265, there's a sketch cover, that was from Freddy's, and I found one, 265, here's the color one, 265, it's kind of his version of anti-venom, 269, 266, yeah, I'm just cleaning out these drawers to reload them, 124, Probably end up selling these spawns locally or something on eBay or what have you. I didn't buy them to flip them. I kind of got caught up in collecting them. Uh, uh, SPT Killer Woods still had his channel and he was, yeah, I got really pumped up on spawn. I, I always like spawn. I just, you know, I have to make some room and fortunately, spawn slam for the slaughter. 274. 146, and I was just finding the right numbers to get. Violator 2, Ellen Moore, Violator 1, Savage Dragon 10 with that cool uh, Mendoza page. Savage Dragon 224, Spawn 242. I won't be selling this spawn because it was a gift from Marvin88, book 9. Sent it to me in beautiful Mylar. A nice high grade, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. And I'm not showing these, you know, as advertisement to sell. I'm just, this is what I've been doing, <laughs> same, same as before, you know, just running through books. I just happen to be looking at some ones I'm considering uh, letting go of. Spawn 143, 103, 172. 176, 177, I know Draw Sears did really well selling his spawns, that he bought and then, then he resold. Uh, Battle of the Planets, Thundercats, uh, J. Scott cover, that was from D's, Dragon 224, here's a Velocity signed by Eric Larson, I love that book. Cool guy. Spawn 186. Spawn 
spawn 126. Spawn 274. Here's a 13B of Gen 13. I know 64 recently got completed that issue 13 set. Mike Allred's It Girl. Gen 13 1, Adam Hughes. Gen 13 3. Creed Utopia. The Walking Dead 163. 25 Center. Freak Force. Book 1. I'm just going to do myself a favor and just have two spawn or uh, two image boxes. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of image real quick. Spawn 281. Dragon 231. Spawn 283. Then there are the Eric Larson stuff of Spawn 261. 263. Here's Jim Lee uh, cover swiping J. Scott. What was that? Gen 13 7. Here's Ant 2A uh, Campbell cover from 2002. That's not a glare on the uh, derriere, that's a digital effect. <laughs> uh, Supreme 63. This is uh, Eric Larson finishing up the Ellen Moore story. There are three versions of that same issue 63. And there's the Liefeld. Darker Image 1, this was some Taddy. Hunter Killer. Uh, J. Scott Campbell, uh, Mark Silvestri uh, pencils, Ebass inks, and uh, it was written by Mark Wade. So that's a four signer. Spawn 163, or uh, 136. Here's Crypt Book 2. Spawn 280. These are all going into getting uh, organized. I sent a copy of this to a comic crypt not long ago. Uh, Al, well his name's Alejandro, so I guess A-L-E would be Ala, or Al, Al, well at Garza anyway, uh, son of Samain, um, signed by uh, Seely, I'd love to get Garza to sign it though, there's a Beisley cover, here is uh, Jim Lee getting painted over, it's got a Garza interiors though. 1963 Tomorrow Syndicate. In pretty good time. We've already looked at over 100 books. All right. Cyber Frog One. That's a Harris. Vampirella. That's a Harris. But I got a Vampirella box set up. Creed, that's uh, Lightning Comics. Trent Canuga. There's uh, Archie Turtles. Beautiful Killer, that's a uh, Adam Hughes cover. I believe I got this from Dross Sears. Here's a uh, Dynamite, uh, what do you call it, Betty Page. Wizard World by Black Bull Comics. That's small press. I'm going to bring some more comics to the top shelf just so these don't tip over constantly. Drive me nuts. Nah, I'll do that later. Oh, we got some image. I know where these go. Deathmate Red, Ultraverse Breakthrough, nice George Perez cover, uh, we're going up in Ultraverse, I'll close with Archie's, the one copy I have of Chew, that's 
damage. Chad Stred is IDW. Xenoscope. It's also from Marvin88. Thanks, Marv. You always send me beautiful books, buddy. Edward Scissorhands. RW. Exo Man of War 1. Alright. It's going to go with the Valiant. Oh, this is great. Star Wars Devil Worlds is where you get some of the uh, Alan Moore stories that were in the Marvel UK books. Really cool. So Dark Horse. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, Stargate book. Dynamite. It's quite a twist to get to the dynamites. Yeah, just a photo cover I thought was cool. Control. It's a dynamite Ben Oliver cover. It's a new Rocco. Archie TMNT, Mute Animals. I think Davis just picked some of these up. Salem Sister. That's a Xenoscope, right? It's gotta be. Jennifer's Blood. I think it was CBA that said he really likes Tim Bradstreet. I'm inclined to agree with him. He's got good taste. These are Greg Horn, Jenna Hayes covers from Virgin. I don't know if that was the Virgin Megastore, but Virgin Comics it says. From Devil's Due Comics, White, the White Shark. More Vampirella, like Series 7 or something. Oh, there's that Solar book, so you know that goes with Valiant. Right. Trent Kanuga signed Creed 1, original Hall of Heroes. For years, I, I wanted to get a tattoo of this, but I didn't think anyone could do it right. I just knew they'd never get the inking just right. And I'm, I'm really picky about art, so... Uh, beautiful Billy Tucci sheet. Tomei Martucci. Martucci. Some Archie Hughes. I remember we waited a long time for this to come out. It's not bad. It's, it's a good. It's a good use. I like it. No brutality on Hughes today. That was a good. That was a good cover. Ego Rehab. David Crossland. I met him and he did a little remark on the inside of this for me. Filler Bunny. Never met never met Joan and I would love to though. More control for that beautiful Ben Oliver stuff. Mad balls. There's a trade of Bean World. I'm gonna keep the trade somewhere else. Take a lot of room. Another Edward Scissorhands book and needs tape. More Bean World. There's a cool clerk's book with Dante on the cover. Oni Press, our Oni. The Secret of the Ooze. Mad Balls. T 
Tyrant. Brett Simpson. Oop. I still gotta line these drawers with some foam rubber. I was discussing that with a friend of mine. He recommended apply adhering them with, with Velcro, which I thought was a good idea. For the Valiant Box, Bloodshot. Darkwing Duck. These are supposed to be good books. Let's do this row and call call it a night. Move these over. Shaking concrete, Star Horse, concrete. First and only time I went to Comic Con in 2003, actually, my, my brother pointed out Shaking, but I was kind of busy promoting my own book, so I, I, sh I should have just gone there to enjoy it though. Eric Powell cover of the Spirit, Dynamite. Concrete Chicken, uh, it's a concrete origin book. More concrete. I like concrete. It's kind of a cement swamp thing in a way. Prime with a uh, Bray Fogel cover. Concrete. Nightman. These are from uh, OMG. Nightman. Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mayhew cover. Sheet. Tug and Buster. I stand corrected, there is an action lab in here. America Karate. <laughs> Tug and Buster. I, I just like Mark Hempel. Uh, he did a really cool story in a Sandman in a, yeah. Brilliant guy. Tug and Buster. was a story in the Sandman uh, or um, the end some of the endless siblings get together so I really liked it Vampirella uh, Dracula with the Linsner cover copy of cross nightman victories Victories. Wolf Dark Horse. Alice in Wonderland. These are from Daydreams and Nightmares. Scotty. He hasn't made a video in a couple of months, so I sent him a message to see how he was doing. Hope he's alright. Warlord of Mars. We got this at Empire's Comic Vault. Quantum and Woody. Cool Frank Miller cover on the creep. Bongo Comics, The Simpsons. Madman. Jennifer Blood and their cool Algarza cover. Tank Girl Gold. There's another 
show of white. Mentra. Mentra. A lot of these are really cool uh, Terry Dodson books, too. There's a Cyber Frog. Ashcan edition. It's a Creed. Inferno. There's a PowerCon program. A cool J. Scott cover of Planet of the Apes. From Freddy's. Oh, those are dark parts. Uh, I assume they were image. It's another mantra. Here's a really disturbing cover of the cross. Ellis Cooper, uh, Chaos. That's probably a Sealy book. Jenny Frizen, Sonia's. Adam Hughes, Witchblade. Top Cow. Some more Xenoscope. Ultraverse. Malibu Comics, beautiful, uh, Barry Windsor Smith, Prototype, these are all from Chris, Ultraverse, this is from Spidey Fan, and the coolest thing about it, man, is it's signed by the cover artist, like, not the clever artist, the cover artist Kali, but it's also signed by Garth Ennis. Thanks so much, Spidey fan. That's freaking cool, man. Garth Ennis, are you kidding me? Thank you. I would love to buy that Irishman a beer. I really would. Fucking cool. Vampirella. I think Chambers got me a copy of this signed by V. Vampirella, but this is my original copy. It's a cool little Queen Amidala, Natalie Portman. Not the Kira Knightley, but Natalie Portman Amidala. Little Padme. Mantra. Here's a cover swipe of Ronin on Sweet Tooth. Well, that's Vertigo. That's in the wrong spot. Uh, free Bongo book. American Splendor. A couple books are out of place. The Fuzz, Trent Canuga. Hall of Heroes. Street Fighter 2. <coughs> it's one of the first things that, uh, Um, the Doom ever sent me. Lady Death. I haven't talked to the Doom in a long time. Tukey. Cartoon books. Inferno. Xenoscope. <coughs> Sheena. Boy, this miscellaneous box is filling up quick. <coughs> Halo Jones, book seven from Quality Comics. Anyway, um, I'm gonna reload this drawer and I'll definitely be back for a second part. But uh, thanks for watching. That was a workout, man. Turning around, making sure I don't twist my back. But uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one. And uh, thanks for watching these. It's been a lot of fun knowing that, you know, doing something, you know, making a little videos rather than just cleaning. So thanks a lot.